Welcome to the latest episode of Drone News from Jeff Sebelius and LandonAirPhotos.com. DJI has announced an updated version of their Phantom 4 Pro drone called the Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0. Version 2 adds a few new tweaks to the Phantom 4 Pro. The most visible change is the new propeller design. The nodes on the ends of each prop are designed to improve efficiency and make the aircraft fly more quietly. DJI claims a 4 decibel reduction in volume with the new props. Part of this noise reduction comes from newly designed ESCs, which means you can put the new props on the original Phantom 4 Pro and make it quieter, but not as quiet as version 2 will be. Version 2.0 also upgrades its system to OcuSync over the Phantom 4 Pro's existing LightBridge transmission system. OcuSync was first introduced with the Mavic Pro, so it's a natural step to bring this system into the Phantom line. DJI does not claim this will increase the drone's range, but many Mavic owners say OcuSync gives them a more reliable connection, particularly in suburban areas, than what they experienced with LightBridge. OcuSync is also supposed to reduce latency, which is always a good thing. One definite advantage of OcuSync is that it provides improved HDMI connectivity, supporting wireless output to multiple viewing devices including DJI's goggles. The Phantom 4 Pro did not have an HDMI connection without the additional purchase of an accessory, and it was not wireless. The only other difference with version 2.0 is a vent that was added to the bottom of the controller. Those are the differences with version 2.0. Otherwise, the two versions, 1 and 2, are the same. Version 2 will be available in the Plus version with the attached screen, just like the original P4P. Not a big upgrade, and DJI was honest about it. They didn't call it a Phantom 5 or a Phantom 4 Platinum, just version 2. Clearly, if you own a Phantom 4 Pro already, there is no real reason to upgrade unless you just want to fly with wireless goggles. But, if you were thinking of buying a Phantom 4 Pro, they just made it a little better for the same price. Now I will say this, if I were buying a Phantom 4 right now, I'd buy the P4P Obsidian instead of the version 2. The black body that is easier to see in the sky is a bigger selling point to me than support for wireless goggles, and I actually prefer the louder drone because it's easier to keep track of if you can hear it and see it. With the white version 2, it's more difficult to do either one. I know I'm in the minority on that one though. The real question with this new release is, does this mean we will wait longer for the release of a Phantom 5? When DJI released the Mavic Platinum Pro, it was several months before we saw the next upgrade in the form of the Mavic Air. So will that be the case for the Phantom 5? Or are they trying to clear out Phantom 4 Pros from inventory so they can release the 5? What do you think? Put your idea in the comments below. No one knows, but it's fun to speculate. One thing we know for sure though, you can get a discount on the Phantom 4, Mavic Air, Mavic Pro, or any other DJI product and get great customer service if you order from asusdeals.biz. Order from the website and use the coupon code JSLAP or call Peter and order over the phone. Be sure to use that coupon code either way. Or you can buy from somebody else, spend more, and get lousy customer service. It's just up to you. That's it for this episode of Drone News. I'm hoping to have product information and ultimately a review of a drone about to be released from a new player in the drone market, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching this video. I set up a Facebook group to make it easier for us to talk and arrange opportunities to fly together. Follow the link in the description below to sign up for the group. On screen you'll find links to more videos on how to fly drones, so please check them out. Before you go, be sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to this channel so you know when more videos are released. Thanks for watching.